performers and artists is to fight through that the best way we can and to just stay locked in and keep that tunnel vision activated and keep it activated as long as possible because it goes beyond the classroom that translate onto every job you do every audition you walk into every performance that you have this and the third does that make sense yeah. so we want to keep that in mind um so with that being said the five of you I'm giving away some pieces and stuff from my clothing line because I feel y'all energy and I resonate with it. So, give it up for this group, let's get it! Move up, y'all, move up, move up, move up, move up! I went out to DC for a workshop that I was invited to teach. That's actually my second time going out there for uh, Culture Shock. They have a, a company class, and that was my second time. The first time that I went was in December, and their energy is incredible. Their work ethic, their drive, their, their, they're so receptive to the information that's being given, and that's the best thing that an instructor um, can ask. But yeah, I try to... I try my best to implement like dance training into my schedule as much as possible. Mm -hmm. It just gets hard. It gets hard when you're trying to build a brand. And in my case, at this point, mm -hmm. it's like three. My personal brand, yeah. my clothing line brand, and now tapping into like the artistic creative side of, of just visuals i don't necessarily want to say videographer or photographer per se it's just like a visual thing so shooting with film shooting with digital shooting video content um, just different things like that so with that being said i'm not going to be able to reach and connect to the masses the way that i want if i'm just in dance classes you know what i'm saying like I gotta be at the Fashion Week events, I gotta be at the networking events, I gotta be like connecting with the artists that I work with, that I choreograph for, that I do movement coaching for. So it's like one day I'm teaching, the next day I'm formulating a new capsule for the, the clothing line. The day after that I'm in the studio with the artist and we're getting ready for the music video or the live performance. Just different shit. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it's yeah. all fun. It's fun and it's um it's uh it fills me up for sure because if like if I'm stagnant I'm not I'm not happy. Like even when on my rest days I'm chilling and I'm indulging, I'm on Netflix, I'm watching my series and stuff, but even watching those shows it's inspiring because I'm I pull inspiration from everything like everything outdoors, everything on TV, anything that my peers are doing creatively, whether it's music, whether it's art, whether it's hair, fashion, whatever, like I pull inspiration from everything, so. Yeah. Let's go, man. Definitely trying to dance more, though, even with that being said. Yeah. Because I'm always, I always consider myself a student to the game. I don't have it all figured out. I'm still figuring it out. Meeting Kirby. Meeting Kirby was incredible. And I don't think he realizes how much he put into perspective for me because I'm big on just like humility and 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 the idea of yes i do this yes i do that and some of this and some of that however at the same time i'm still human i still see you i'm still like you know i eat sleep drink shit laugh maybe even cry sometimes it's just like you and i feel like i got a sense of that without him even having to say too much because remember, I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know about him 
when I booked the 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 short film Seven Mothers, directed by him and director X. I remember going to the casting. I remember getting the casting about Pierre Moss short film. Um, I had never heard of the brand. Uh, I looked at the script and the script said uh, based on the story of Kirby G. Raymond. Um, I get to the casting and again, I don't know anything about any of this stuff. I'm just doing my thing. Just making, do what it do, making it do what it do. And I get in a room I had to say like a line or two. I had to dance a little bit, a little two step. But I hadn't known that he was in the room. Director X, I saw and I was like, he looks familiar. I just remember them sitting next to each other in the room and I'm just like, those have to be like the ones. You know what I mean? Like, you know when you walk into a room and people just have this like, uh, I spoke about this recently too, like when you walk into a room and you sense energy, like it's just, it's that energy, like, <coughs> it's, uh, it's almost like magic in a sense, like you can feel it and you know, like, you're somebody, like, even for the people that aren't even up there yet, like you still feel it kind of thing, you know what I mean, like, whether it's a dancer, singer, musician, photographer, or whatever, so we auditioned, um, left and like always like you go in do your best leave feeling good don't think about it too much just go about the rest of your day and whatnot so I ended up getting the call from my agent we booked it I got my call sheet info and all of that stuff so now it's the day of the shoot remember it was a really cold day I feel like there was it wasn't snowing but there was snow like out like on the floor um, melting from like a recent storm we had or whatever so we're on set, we're in this like brownstone situation. Was it Brooklyn? I think it was Brooklyn. Um, yeah, it was Brooklyn. This guy comes and stands next to me. He looks over. He's like, what's up, man? Has his hand out. I was like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Dapped him up. And he goes, what's your name? I was like, Kenny. I was like, who's yours? He's like, Kirby. I was like, nice to meet you. I was like, nice to meet you too, man. Just chilling, walk around the house like, just with socks on because it's a storm outside. We're not like, uh, unless you were like an actor, they didn't want any, like everybody in the house having shoes on, just like, actors with the shoes on because we had on like everything Gear Moss had to tell. Um, so he tells me his name, he walks away. I was rehearsing my lines like every couple of minutes just to have it at the top of my head. So I pull out my phone, open my email, going over the script. And at the top, it says, based on the story of, like, life story of Kirby G. Raymond. And I look, I'm like, it's like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, I hate those moments where it's like, it's like I love it and I hate it. Like, those moments where, like, shit just goes over your head and you don't even realize what's happening when it's happening. So... <laughs> found myself calling him. I was like, Kirby. He looked over, he's like, what's up? I was like, this is you. Like, this is about you. Like, this is, this is your life. That little boy is you. He started laughing. He's like, yeah. I was like, yo, that's crazy. And I was like, Gene Raymond, in my mind, I didn't say it to him because I don't like to like, you know, impose with stuff like that. But in our language, in Creole, we would say Jean Raymond. So I'm like, he's Haitian. Like, he has to be. So I asked him and then he told me he was Haitian. I was just like, this is crazy. And then you have director X over here who's directed like everything and shot with everybody. I'm just like, in that moment, um, I realized that I was right where I needed to be. And that's probably one of the greatest jobs that I've worked on, regardless of whether people come 
completely know what Pierre Moss is about or what Kirby stands for or who Director X is. Like, it's not even about, like, the accolade or, or adding that experience or that job, for that matter, to, to my resume. It's more so about being surrounded by the movers and shakers within the industry or two industries, for that matter, between, like, fashion and, and music culture, which, like, combined together is just like entertainment in itself it was incredible to just be like aligned with these two individuals that like just inspired me you know what I mean like I may not have known what Pierre Moss was or who Kirby was but like doing my research and looking up the interviews and looking up the articles and just really tapping in to figure out the story of that man is just like wow like literally just building from the ground up. They invited me out to teach this past December, which was amazing. So when they hit me back to come back, I wasted no time in jumping on it because the dancers out here are fire. Um, hospitality is A1, energy is always lit. So I've actually been waiting to come back and been trying to find ways to like get in touch with them. But I'm just like, in due time, it'll come. And oddly enough, it came. And now we back. About to make it do what it does. Let's go, Skip. What you got for me? Activated scooter. Find a scooter on the map and scan it for a coach. Yeah. Good start. Yeah. Oh, the kick. After I kick started, I keep both of my feet on it. friends know how much it means to me to teach um let alone travel to teach because i remember uh once upon a time i was trying to set up like a teaching schedule like while i was on tour with um uh the illusionist the magic show that i was touring with at the time and every studio that i reached out to there's not one that got back to me and you know that stuff it, it gets to you it breaks it breaks you down a bit and like fucks with your spirit because it's just like it's that thing in the back of your mind where it's like well everybody else does it I want to do it too obviously in my own way but I think I realized that I was trying to do it in my own way but I was contradicting myself I was doing it because of yeah, I saw everybody that. else doing it. I'm just like, I want to travel and teach. So let me try to set up a teaching huh? situation. None of the studios got back to me. Not one. You would have thought like their email addresses were broken or something. So now, yeah, seven eight five one. Yeah. Fast That's forward three or four four years later from that time. Um, now I'm being reached out to, like without having to doing the reaching out. Like I'm being reached out. To. No, no, no. Uh -huh. there, there, there we go, there we go. I'm like, I don't know if y'all were here, if some of y'all were here the last time I came in December, but please don't be shy and speak to me, like, please. Um, how's everybody doing? Good. Good. Um, it's good to be back. I love it here. Uh, last time was amazing, but it kind of felt like a rush, too, so I always hope to come back and um, see some familiar faces. Faces. Congratulations. Faces, know what I mean? Um, so... Next time on Original. Yaga, Yaga. This project for Squarespace. And so I did it. <laughs> and the casting director looked at the girl, he's like,